disgrace. King Charles' last-minute action for Harry to lose Prince title due to royal boycott. Prince Charles has been urged to remove his son Harry's prince title when he becomes king as he has disgraced the royal family. Tensions between Prince Harry and the rest of the firm have been rising since the Duke stepped down from senior royal duties in 2020 and moved to the US with his wife Meghan Markle. Commenting on a story about the titles Harry and Meghan's children may receive when Charles becomes king, user UK Patriot said that nothing is set in stone and that Charles should remove Harry's titles because of the appalling way he has behaved. Referencing the letters patent issued in 1917 under the reign of George V, which stated that the grandchildren of the monarch and the eldest son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales, currently Prince George, should be prince slash princess titles, the user added, that previous king probably never thought in a month of Sundays that a son of a monarch would behave in the appalling way that Harry and his mind are behave, literally disgracing the RF and our country. According to a constitutional expert, when Charles becomes king he will be able to strip Harry of whatever titles he chooses. Ian McMarthan told, accordingly, by a stroke, be it at the hand of Elizabeth II, or a future King Charles, H.R.H. Prince Henry, Duke of Sussex, Earl of Dumbarton, and Baron Kilkeel, could quickly find himself becoming plain and ordinary Mr. Henry Charles Albert David Mountbatten Windsor. It feels like just yesterday that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry decided to step down as senior members of the royal family. So when we realized that their 12-month review period of life as non-royals, agreed to by Queen Elizabeth, was already at an end, we couldn't believe it. I see me, on Friday, Buckingham Palace announced the saddening news that the couple has no intention of returning as working members of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have confirmed to Her Majesty the Queen that they will not be returning as working members of the royal family, BP wrote in a statement. Following conversations with the Duke, the Queen has written confirming that in stepping away from the work of the royal family it is not possible to continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service. The statement also revealed that because of this, the Duke and Duchess will be stripped of their royal titles relating to their trusts and patronages. In fact, Harry will even have to relinquish all of his military titles. Naturally, we were curious as to which titles exactly the couple would be losing. Turns out, it's many more than we realized. According to Express UK, the 35-year-old prince will lose three military titles, Captain General Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant, RAF Honington and Commodore-in-Chief, Small Ships, and Diving, Royal Naval Command. In addition, he will no longer be patron of the following charities and organizations, African Parks, Commonwealth, Dole and Cymru, Gloucestershire County Cricket Club, Henry Van Storbenzi Memorial Fund, Invictus Games Foundation, Rhino Conservation Botswana, Royal Ontario Museum, Rugby Football Union, Rugby Football Union All School Programme, Rugby Football Union Injured Players, Centre Bale, The London Marathon, Charitable Trust, the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, the Rugby Football League and Well Child. As for the soon to be mother of two, she will lose her title as patron for Mayhew, Smartworks, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, the Queen's Commonwealth Trust and the Royal National Theatre. Following the announcement, a spokesperson for the Sussex has also released a statement, as evidenced by their work over the past year. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex remain committed to their duty and service to the UK and around the world, and have offered their continued support to the organisations they have represented regardless of official role. We can all live a life of service. Service is universal. Service.